Hello my lovely Morbid Thoughts, welcome back to my channel, it's Morbid Gamer here with another mods video. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, new wig, who dis? So no cause for alarm, right? It's just, we just sporting a new different wig today. So moving on, y'all know what time it is though. If you're not subscribed to this channel, why the heck not? Hit that little red button because it's free 99 and doesn't cost you a thing. Also hit that little like button so you can you know help you help your girl out it really does help and last but not least if you want to go above and beyond hit that little join button so you can check out the extra channel perks you get if you decide to pay a monthly fee to the channel but no pressure now that we've gotten all that out of the way i have about let me get one two Seven, eight. I've got eight mods for you guys today to show to you that I think you need in your game so it can be a little better, a lot more fun, run a little smoother, like things that you might be missing in your Sims lives. So I'm here to help you out. So let's jump in and let's get started with mod number one because it's seriously really cool. So for the first mod, or technically speaking, the first two mod go hand in hand. They are both very, very similar mods, but they are basically cooking and ingredient overhaul mods to the sim. So this is a mod, or these two mods are for people who think that cooking is way too freaking easy in the sims. And you kind of miss the sims 3 back in the day when you used to like go shopping for groceries and then be able to cook. So this is basically what this mod is, these two mods. So one is by Seriously Sims, Complete Cooking Overhaul mod. And the other one is by Grey Curse. It is Cooking and Ingredients Overhaul. So like I said previously, what this does is it allows you to buy ingredients so that you can use those ingredients to actually cook. Whereas right now, you can just kind of will forward any kind of food that you want just because you so choose to do so on a stove, microwave, whatever have you. And I think that's boring. Okay, so here we are with my Kimball family. Um, and it's, it's looking like it's dinner time for them. So this is the perfect time to showcase this mod. Now the first thing that you're no you're gonna notice when you go to cook, wherever it be microphone or or the uh, or the stove, you're gonna notice that everything is kind of uh, blocked off and you can't really cook anything. And the reason is because you have to buy ingredients first. The difference between Great Curse's mod and Seriously Sims mod is where you can buy the ingredients. So if you click on the refrigerator, it'll say buy ingredients right here. This is where you're able to buy the things that you're gonna need to be able to cook the, the food that you want. And it's all organized up here from dairy and meat, to veggies, to fruits, herbs, and fish. Uh, of course, this is all made up. This is something that they actually added in with the mod because you don't actually have cooking beef, cooking bread, cheese, flour, when it comes to actually like cooking in the game. This is all new stuff, so I think that that's really cool. And then for Seriously Sims cooking overhaul, you gotta go to your phone. And if you see up here, there's a little like simoleon symbol. It says shop for groceries, and then you click on that, and it should be the exact same thing. You're gonna get a bit more categories, but in general, it's just the same old stuff. Same old, same old, um, meat and dairy, and then some stuff for baking, flowers, and then miscellaneous, some boxes of tea, because the main, main difference between Grey Curse and Seriously Sims cooking overhaul mods is that Seriously Sims tackles everything in the game when it comes to making coffee, baking, drinking tea, cooking, grilling, whatever, maybe like everything is kind of covered, even making ice cream. This one kind of covers everything. Whereas Grey Curses just covers cooking in itself. So it just depends on what it is that you want, but they both do the same thing. All right, well, I feel like making some gumbo. So we gotta get eight onions, eight cooking beefs and and any crawdad i don't know what that is but we need eight of that all right well, well i'll figure it out oh oh crawdad is a lobster okay so we're gonna need cooking beef we need eight of those almost certain it was onions i think cooking is pretty expensive so if you think cooking is also doesn't take up enough money well there here you go this will be pretty pricey also on your bank account just want to point that out also you can't have both at the same time because then the cooking ingredients and the recipes overlap 
and you just won't be able to use both at the same time. So just decide which one you want, download one, whichever. It will say up here, thanks for ordering. The ingredients after all purchase can be found in her inventory. So everything will kind of spawn and show up in your inventory. All right, girls, go upstairs and cook this gumbo because we did not just spend 400 simoleons for nothing. That's pretty pricey. This is going to be a pretty pricey dinner. That lobster better be worth it. And then it takes it, of course, out of her inventory and she's cooking it up. Cook it up, baby. And voila, it's done. All right, so why don't you call to meal and eat everyone in the house, the household, so you can have a, f a nice family dinner together. Yes, girl. Well, it's looking like these tools don't want to sit down and eat, so y'all do you, but it's looking like everyone's enjoying the meal, and this just makes it a little bit more interesting when it comes to cooking in The Sims. So there you have it. Let's move on to the next mod. Now the next mod that I'm going to be showing you guys is drinks give more food and energy boost. So have you ever noticed that your Sims will be like really tired and reach for some coffee and then they drink it and it practically does nothing. It's like, what is this here for? You know, people drink coffee to get that little energy boost to keep on going throughout the day. But somehow in the Sims, it's like, like, hello. I need some energy so what this will do is just give your sims a bit more of a boost when they have coffee not only that but actually it boosts up your hunger as well we're here with my florgan challenge family household so basically all you know you need to know about this challenge is that we got three triplets and they're all toddlers and life is a bit of a mess so my good sis here needs an energy boost so with this mod we're just gonna get you some coffee and show the people how well this mod works. <laughs> just brew any type of coffee, it doesn't really matter. Let's just do a pot so she has multiple. You'll quickly notice that her energy, hunger, and bladder all like do something. So initially, your bladder should go down uh, like a lot, a lot, a lot. This mod reduces that so your sim doesn't actually have to go pee so, so quickly, so often. Uh, we're gonna grab another one, but it does boost up her energy so much more than I think in the game than it does originally. It honestly gives you nothing to work with, and this mod at least boosts that a little bit. So we've already had our second cup of coffee, and her her, pee, her bladder's going down, yes, but I think she would have had to pee by now if this mod wasn't in here, and her, her energy is like halfway through. So it's just one of those little pick-me-up that I think The Sims game needs, and this mod takes care of that, because they obviously don't do it. Let's just say, let's just finish the pot. What would happen if we finished the pot? And she officially finished the pot of coffee. Her energy is at least in green now, but she really has to pee. I think had this been, this mod had not been in the game and she drank three cups of coffee, she would have pissed herself by now. So it's safe to say that this mod works very well. <laughs> all right, let's look at the next mod. So our next few mods are all gonna be by Little Miss Sam, but this is the Where Are You mod. And this mod is not gonna be for everybody, I will say that now, because this mod helps you locate sims to know exactly where they are. So have you ever lost a sim? Have you ever played with either a roommate mod or you maybe have a big lot and you invite a lot of sims over, you don't know where the heck they've gone to? That happens to me from time to time. You'd be surprised. So this mod is perfect so you can figure out where those sims go. So here we are with my roommate household. I have the roommate mod by Little Miss Sam, which is what I'm using, and I have a bunch of roommates. And sometimes I want to locate one of them, and I can't seem to always find them. Why? Because I can't go clicking around for them. But here's one of my roommates. So found you, Miles. But like, let's say I was looking for Avani. Girl, where are you? I need to talk to you. We go to the socials tab in the phone, and you click on her sim. And she will then tell you, I am right here, girl. What do you need? She's upstairs. She's in the workout room with Enrique also. So I found two of my roommates. So yeah, it's always going to be right here in the socials tab on your phone. Where are you? Not only that, I think you could also call up on other Sims too that are maybe in the area. All right, so let's try one more time. Let's see, what about Vanessa? Vanessa's our roommate. Ooh, wait, what the freak? What is going on in here? So Vanessa, you just going to work it out while these Sims are over here woohooing? Okay, girl, 
you know, you do your thing. You can see her twerking it out in the window, followed by the people woohooing on the, uh, like, right next door, right next to her. All right, y'all get freak nasty, but I'm just gonna be over here with the other roommates. So basically, you got the gist. You can just locate whatever sim it is that you have lost, and it's pretty simple and easy to use if you need it. Here we have the Ash to Cook Bake Grill Mix Drink mod so that is exactly the way that it sounds uh you can ask people now to cook bake grill or mix you a drink and that includes baking as well and cooking up your pet some food as well so here we are at the club and for this mod i like to use it in a particular way but like you can really use it for anything whether it be cooking baking you want somebody to do all do all that for you you can ask somebody to do that for you but for me personally Personally, I love to use this mod to ask someone to make me a drink when we're out at the club and we're getting down. So if there's ever a cute sim and I'm like, hey, do you want to make me a drink? Buy me a drink. Because obviously no one can buy you drinks in the game yet. There's no mod. There's nothing in the game that allows people to buy you a drink. But I can at least pretend this way because, you know, I see prices. I'm like, buy me this drink and then they'll go ahead and make it over at the bar and then i'll get it and it's almost like i can make believe that a sim has gone ahead and bought me a drink while i'm at the club so this is perfect for that so let me just go ahead and sit down and like let me wait for my drink to be made oh my god you are a doll thank you so much for my drink and then they go back to doing whatever is that they were doing so it's not like they actually will post up and remain there Oh, I see another cutie. All right, you want to buy me a drink? His name is Hui. All right, Hui. Make me a rum and coke. Do I have a rum and coke? What do I have? Vodka? You know what? Let's not mix drinks. Let's get a Long Island. Oh, margarita. Let's get a margarita. Oh my god, you are a doll also. Thank you for my drink. My free drink at the club. I appreciate it. Now my girl's double fisting it and she's living her best life. <laughs> there you go. That's right. And then we can go ahead and just work it out again some more. Get it, get it, get it. All right, we're going to enjoy the rest of our outing. But that's basically what I like to use this mod for. Along with the other stuff, you know, you know. But again, you can do so much more with this, whether you're feeling lazy and you don't want your sim to cook and you want maybe your sim's boyfriend, husband, your child, your teenager, whatever, your neighbor, you can make them do some stuff. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, I still have three more mods for you guys. I did say I had eight in total, but I think that these three next mods go hand in hand like you need this as a bundle like these need to go together or at least i think so because the first one is the more visitors custom lot trait and exactly what it sounds like it will spawn more visitors of a specific type and we'll get into that in a second the second mod is the dress code custom lot trait so it's also exactly how it sounds it adds a dress code to whatever lot that it is that you want to add that dress code lot trait to and last but not least there's the gender and more mod this is also a custom lot trade but what this one does is a little different from the other two this one actually denies entry to certain specific types of sims so we'll see right now how this all fits in very well together so with these three mods in combination we have something that i like to call the ultimate community lot so first things first what the more visitors dress code and gender and more mod have in common is that they're all lot traits so that's something that you have to put on the lot that it is that you want to change we'll get into what it changes and what it does in a second but you're gonna want to place all these things on your lot so here's the is the dress code lot trait so what the dress code lot trait you're gonna choose between a lot of different dress codes and what this one does is it makes your sim dress in their party wear, everyday wear, their formal wear, so that they will spawn to that lot in those outfits. So if you want like a fancy schmancy restaurant and you're like, my sims never show up to this restaurant, 
wearing fancy clothes, well, this is what you need. If you want your sims to draw up, show up to a club wearing their only their party wear, then you put this on your lot so that they spawn in party wear outfits. So this is what is currently going on on this lot. I have it set so that they show up in their party wear. I do want them to be a little bit more like, a little bit more put together, but like they're having fun because this is a roller rink. Um, so now that we've placed all the lot, the traits, lots that you want, that you want to use. Now let's go in on what the more visitors lot trait does. So more visitors allows you to spawn in more of a specific type of visitor that you want on a lot. So if I were to just want females to spawn on a lot, let's say like you want an unfemale only bar, what have you then you just click on females and it will spawn way more females to this lot. If you just want teens like I did right now, because let's be honest, there's not a lot of things for toddlers, children, teens, and elders. So I wanted somewhere where teens can go and hang out and be their own place. So this will spawn more teens to this lot. Hence why you see uh, a bit more teenagers rolling around and skating around and hanging out and hanging about. So that's some, this is somewhere where they can come and hang out. The, what the gender and more not allowed mod does is exactly what it sounds like. So you will click on whatever it is you don't want to be allowed on this a lot. So I had no children, no elders, I don't want celebrities spawning, no adults, no young adults, no paparazzi, none of that. And so no one will spawn of those ages and that's exactly what I want. And so with that, you can really customize a lot to whatever it is that you want specifically. If you just want vampires to spawn on a lot because this is a vampire uh, bar, then it will do that. If you want only aliens, if you want only men, if you want, if you want only toddlers, what have you, it will spawn them. And I think that this is perfect and something that we really need in the game because all you ever see is a lot of young adults, adults here and there are like elders, children, and teenagers sprinkled. Like you rarely see them. So I love this mod for that. It is something that I really, really needed in my game. And I think a lot of you might also as well. So those are all the mods that I had to showcase for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it insightful for you guys to check out whatever mod that might be your cup of tea and that it is that you need in your game. Links will be provided in the description down below. Also comment if you have any questions, concerns, or whatever have you. I will get back to you the best of my abilities. But that's, the, that, that's it for this video. I will see you all in my next one. So bye for now. All right, I want to say a quick shout out to my member down below. We love you tons, tons, tons. Thank you for supporting me and this channel. I appreciate it so much. But not only that, uh, there should be a video right next to me. Um, I mean, I'll wait. Y'all can look at this bomb. I say bomb eye makeup that I had, that I did today. Like, I was really inspired. Mm -hmm. She want to show it off, so... I'm waiting.